Happy birthday, Pisces. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. And thanks for watching. Tuning in to my channel here. Again, tongue tie. I'm sorry about the fan here. I have to... Um, you can't hear it that much. Just focus on my voice here. Um, I have to take care of something in here. So I have this fan going on in there. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just... Um, I'm going to read these oracles here. They're actually pertaining to what the universe is trying to tell you. Pisces, okay? Hope you guys are having a nice time on your birthdays. Or are going to have a nice time on your birthdays. Here. Alright, let's get these cards together. I'm with you. Alright, Pisces here. Let's see what the universe is trying to tell you. Pisces here. Eats. Guys, it's still party. Pisces here. Okay, we got two cards. I'm going to pick ten cards because ten cards is um new direction, new energy, new beginnings here. Okay, there's some abundance here. I feel like someone wants to give you something here. There's going to be a gift given to you by someone or it could be from the universe here spirituality here you know because people get blessed in all kinds of ways here so i feel like something is um going to be in your favor here you've done a lot um you've helped your kids you helped out people in your life here especially people who you deal with here because you don't deal with everyone here okay this is your fourth chakra here. This is you wanting something. Well, this is actually self-acceptance here. Like you're wanting to um, your family to not want them to accept you, but you want to be accepted for who you are. You're loving yourself. You were actually being so independent with yourself to like therapeutic, you're therapeutic yourself here. You know, being a therapist to yourself here. You were doing that. And you were you, you lift yourself up high this time here and you felt like you had no choice here. You know, who else was gonna do it like how Pisces do it, right? Okay, Pisces here. Yeah, victory here. You're getting your friends back, you're getting your attention back. Things seem, things feel like they're going back, but don't fall off the bandwagon with anyone's comment or certain things that they do here. Just deal with people who are good for you, Pisces, okay? Deal with people who are good for you, but do it with good intentions here. Focus on good things here. I see beautiful things happening for you if you keep going this way here. And this is angel of strength here for you. This is a lot of indie. I'm sorry. I said that. I said, I'm going to say for you. Angel of strength here. This is you being independent about things here. Don't go overwhelmed to where you're exhausted and feel like you're going to run every time someone says, let's go to a party. Let's hang out. Don't do too much here. Stay in your zone here. Like I told Leo, some people, they know when you're changing, they start getting in your head and making you feel uncomfortable about yourself here. So don't let that happen, Pisces, okay? Because I feel like you guys are going in the right direction here. But like for everyone here, the vibe, the energy sometimes that people carry, just don't... I know you're going to sense them. You're kind of sensitive with that. Okay, this is um, deceit here. Someone... I feel like... When you get around this person, you feel icky. You feel strange. You don't feel right. You don't feel like yourself and you want to say something. And you just don't. You kind of do a movement here with your body. You don't want to move here like you turn your head or something here. And it made you feel some kind of way. It made you feel some kind of way. And it felt like you had to boost yourself back up again with this person here. Okay? It's like they're, like they're uh, playing with you. Not... I should, excuse, excuse me, you two, for saying that. I feel like, um, they're like playing with your heart. And you said, no, I'm not going to do this again. I'm not going to deal with this again here. And this is second chakra here. This is you being creative with yourself. Some of you are dazzling yourself up or sharpening yourself up or getting new things. You're really into your zone here. And um, like I told um, Aquarians here, don't stay in your zone because it's in your birth chart right now. And then... And everything starts going to another person's birth chart you you change here you change up and start going back to oh no one cares about me oh i know you don't do that but sometimes you sense it a little bit here and you start pushing harder and harder into in your in whatever 
energy you want that's high existence of yourself here okay can you, you will push you will push you will fall and you'll get right back up stronger Pisces you do Let's see if I can get out um, okay Pisces here love it yeah, this is making decisions here. Um, some pe some of uh, some people. I don't know if you you can't talk to them again, or you're not talking to them. You're feeling kind of down about it a little bit. You don't want this to happen here. You're not a bad person, but it seems like some people you just can't get to. You can't change them. They're hard as a rock. You can't do anything here. And the only thing you can do here is that's if you want to. I feel like you guys are very. Um, you hold your guard up with someone very strongly and you don't want to you know just dive in there and be the first one to say hello or how are you you just don't want to do that here okay so it, it's actually having some it's it have a little controlment in your life just a little bit not that much here and you, you just don't want to be the bad person but someone steered you that way a little bit and you're like you know I'm not, you know I'm not gonna go down like a dog you know, and you kind of fenced off some of these people here. Um, this is man holding coin. This could be a Pisces man, Pisces woman here. Um, if it's a Pisces woman here, I feel like you guys are holding, like I said, you're holding your own here. And you like this. You like this independence here to almost, you're just showing yourself, but you're backing off like, well, not yet. I'm not ready to meet anyone yet. I'm kind of comfortable where I am right now. But, you know, you can give me your cell number, you know. You guys just don't want to do this here. You're feeling independent here. Or if it's a man here, the same thing here. But some of you are looking for a female companion here. And I feel like here, I don't know why it's with this point. I don't know if you're showing something or whatever. Um... I feel like a lot of you are, you're saving up, you're saving up for the summer. I don't know if you're going to do, go on a trip or do something here. Maybe it's a good idea for you. Something, the universe so far is basically telling you, if this situation is bothering you with this person, something needs to be said, either a hi or a hello, or I'm sorry, or something, or just squash it all together and keep going your zone there, okay? Because I feel like you're doing a good job so far, but something is controlling your emotions right now. Some of you. Yeah, this is a magician here. You're making things happen. You're making magic happen. Um, you know, the diamonds falling or whatever. You're making this happen here, but something with this other person is causing you emotionally drain here. Um, it's best that you have a, a good friend, a good sibling or whatever. You talk to a good cousin or family member or something or friend and or spouse or whatever. Boyfriend, girlfriend, and talk to... You need someone to talk to. You need a hug. Because I feel like something's deep-rooted in you, Pisces. And we don't want to do this on your birthdays or your, your, you know, your birth chart. I just say birth chart. Okay? I know it to some people birthdays are just another day, but you were born on that day, and you want to celebrate it here, and you want to feel good about yourself when it's in your, you know, it's it's um, it's Pisces season here, okay? And this is storm warning here. You're gonna hear something from someone. You gotta tone these emotions down because people don't know they bring in certain energies around them, you know. Just tone this down here. It's I mean. You can't go in with a positive attitude about your career and your future here and then turn around and you're stuck on this. I can't stand this person. I don't like them. I can't believe they... I know we we're going to say that, but it's like it's... Some of it is overwhelming your emotions here. Don't let this get in your zone here. If you can help it. You know, take some time and just relax and... um. Okay? need anymore we have enough here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh oh here it is right here okay so these are um adjustment possibilities here don't close out pisces do not close out 
don't close out on opportunities for yourself here. I know I'm not telling you to rush into anything, but you know the feeling when it's time for you to maneuver to the next level with your life here. I feel like you are in your zone here. I call it bird chart. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're in your, your, your season right now. That's what I should have said the first time. I know you're in your season right now, but don't wait until the season starts watering down and squinting another sign, then you stop. And I'm not saying you're doing that because the season is leaving. It's that, you know, when someone's birthday is there, you feel a little more upbeat. You want to change things. And then when it's over, you start, you know. But I feel like you guys are going to keep going because you have to, you know. You're going to have that victory dance. You're going to do that here. But something needs some explanation with who left who stopped calling, who stopped texting, or whatever the case may be. Something is gearing some of your some of your emotions here. Some of you, I say. Okay? Some of you, not all of you. Okay? So you guys, um, that's what the universe is telling you here. Take care of those heart those hard emotions you have going on in your soul here. I know you're in your zone and you're happy, but something is something is in there getting getting to you. It's getting to you here. To almost you want to just say something to this person like I can't believe you. You know, I don't understand. I can't believe you. You almost want to say that to that person here. And I don't want that to get into your zone here because your zone is you're still going on with your season here, okay? It's going to be all the way into March, and then some of you are just almost going to fall off the bandwagon here because now you're feeling like... The, and it's people don't know that what energy you kick out, it's on you because we're in the universe all around electrons and things like that. So when we push out a certain energy, it's our birthday, yay, you know, and then all of a sudden it's gone. You, that don't mean you fall off the bandwagon. You keep going. Your birthday is just a kickstart for your life. It's a kickstart for your life to keep going, to just keep traveling, to keep going here. It's a new beginning when you change an age here. It has nothing to do with, it's my birthday, let's party. And then when you wake up the next day, oh, it's gone. No, that's not what it's about. Okay, Pisces? Because I feel like, I don't know if you got into it with this person or um, you guys are not talking, but something is dealing with your emotion here. And you need to take care of it. Don't I'm not I'm not telling you what to do. You know how to deal with this person. You can send them a text hello or hi or a letter. They send letters, you can you know, or, or whatever. Something is just dealing with your emotions here. It's like it's in the back of your mind and when you smile you can almost see it. It's like someone wants to say, What's going on? What's wrong? No, what's wrong? You're like nothing. You know, you can almost see it here. Okay, Pisces? Take care of yourselves. Um, you guys, with luck, I hope you tune in again here. And if you don't understand, there's going to be a comment. I'm sorry about the fan. Uh, you can comment. I'm sorry about the fan, too. Um, and you guys, um, there's going to be a transcript there. Um, if you scroll down at the videos, okay? You guys have a good evening here, and... Enjoy your weekend. Bye.